Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and today I've got for you a kind of large beauty and nail haul. So I've got my green tea pomegranate here in my favourite hour mug and my water back there ready so let's get started. First up I have one skincare item for you and if you've been watching me for a while now you'll know that Elemis is one of my favourite brands especially the Pro Collagen Marine Cream and if you watch my product empties recently I just ran out of the Pro Collagen Marine Cream I used two pots up so I purchased this little Elemis gift pack and this is so cute it's just like a little handbag and this is a special edition celebrating 25 years of Elemis. So inside it's got 15 mils of the Pro Collagen Marine Cream and it comes in this gorgeous limited edition jar. Um, the ones that I used up in my product empties were 30 mils so this is half the size but the whole pack together was £25 so it's still good value for money considering a 30 mil pot is £50. And then you get a decent travel size, this is 20 grams of the Pro Collagen Cleansing Balm. Now I do have a big pot of this that I'm um, going to test out soon once I finish one of my other cleansers, but that's a really good size. And then a Pro Collagen Hydrogel Eye Mask. Now I've been wanting to try these for ages, not just the Elemis ones. I've seen a bunch of them around and been really interested to try these out. So I'm really pleased that there's one in this pack. And then the last thing they had was the Pro Collagen Marine Cream Ultra Rich, a little sample. Um, so this looks like a more intense version of the original Pro Collagen Marine Cream. Next up I went to MAC and this is probably the most boring MAC haul ever because I just bought one thing and it's really boring. It is the Pro Colour Times 4 Compact. Now I wanted one of these because I have the large size compact as well and when I'm travelling I find I have to take the whole thing with me because it's got my eyebrow colour in and my eyeshadow colours in as well so I just wanted a four pan one so I could just transfer them into there and I can save on packing space so this is all I bought really boring but handy for me anyway next up I got a couple of things from NYX now I have been trying to look for some more butter lip glosses the macaroon ones and there was something else as well that I can't quite remember anyway I couldn't find any of them things so I ended up picking up a couple more of the glitter cream palettes now I hauled a couple of these last year and I really like using them for Halloween Christmas and New Year's tutorials and just basically experimenting with glitter on my eyes and things like that. So I got three colours and these are really pretty. This one doesn't have a name actually but it's lots of really gold bronzy colours and then I have a silver one, this is called Ice Queen and then this really gorgeous pinky rose gold one that's called the sweet chocolate brown and these are really affordable and just great just to experiment like i said before the last bit of makeup i picked up was from stargazer and if you haven't heard of stargazer they're an english brand and they're very similar to barry m but i'd say they're a bit more elaborate and a bit more out there so they do things like rainbow lashes coloured hair dyes, neon lipsticks, the lot. So anything that's every shade of the rainbow and neon. And the first thing I picked up was a couple of glitters. And the reason why I picked these up is I love using them for DIYs and also to put on my toes and my fingers with nail polish. They're just really great and they're a good size as well. So I got this bronzy pink one, which I love and then this lovely neon peach colour. A gold, you can never have too much gold glitter. And then this one caught my eye, it's a lovely mint green glitter. And then the last thing was a couple of eyeshadows. Now, if you've watched my product empties, I did feature a Bare Minerals Loose Pigment Eyeshadow. And I said that I preferred more the pressed powders, 
but I couldn't resist picking these up. They are loose, but I'd probably put them on top of a pressed powder just to finish. But they're the most gorgeous colours. Um, this one, they've just got numbers. So this is number 16. And it's an eye dust. And it's a lovely sort of um, periwinkle purple. And then this gorgeous cranberry marine colour in number 8. So next on to my favourite thing ever, nail polish. And I picked up quite a few. A lot of spring colours so I've swatched them on this wheel for you so you can look at them more closely. So the first brand I picked up was a couple of Essie colours and I've got a few spring colours here. So the first one is this gorgeous um, ready orange colour called Lollipop. Now I've never seen this one before or heard of the name but it's a beautiful red orange cream colour and it's just such a classic colour but I'd say it's got more red than orange but it's definitely not a pillar box red. The next one is Pansy and this is a beautiful sort of pastel pinky colour and it's beautiful for spring. I'm just so excited for spring anyway because I love all the pastel colours. Let me know in the comments below what your favourite season is as well and yeah I just love this colour. It's just a classic cream as well. In fact all of them are creams that I picked up. And the next thing following on from the pink is this really light pastel pink lilac colour and this is in French Affair and this will look stunning on nails or toes as well. And then this one is from their resort collection this year and this is Stones and Roses and this is a really nice peach colour, love this. And then the last one has been on my nail wish list for ages and it's Angora Cardi. So this is more of a full winter colour but I love these muddy colours and this is sort of a purple maroony colour. Right, so this is a bit of an unusual one and something that I'm testing out. I bought this nail polish from this brand called Sonia. I, to be honest, I don't know how it's pronounced, but anyway, it came in this beautiful packaged bag, very personalised and a bit Chanel-esque actually. And this is the nail polish I got. And the reason why I was interested in this is because it contains up to 85% of natural origins. So this sounded quite interesting to me. Anyway, it's in this box, so it's very over-packaged for a nail polish, but I just decided to try one, and I thought I'd go for a spring colour, and it's this one. Now, I thought this actually had a name, but... Oh, Syrup de Rose. It's all um, French, which I wasn't very good at at school, so I'm not very good at pronouncing French. Anyway, it's this beautiful... Um, bright corally colour and I'll be really interested to try this out because it is 85% of natural ingredients so I'll let you know what I think. I'll put my link to my blog down below because that's where I'll be testing it out but I just thought it was something different and they came in really a really good selection of colours. I'll also pop their website down below if you're interested in checking them out. The next colour I got is following on from the spring theme and it's this really nice peachy pink glitter shot with iridescent bits and it's by Coochie Colour and it's called Mood Alteration and this will look really gorgeous as a top coat on top of some of the peachy pink colours that I've bought. Now Morgan Taylor is fast becoming one of my favourite nail polish brands and recently they just released the Cinderella collection to coincide with the Disney film and I wanted to try quite a few colours so I thought the best way would be in a little pack. So I purchased this gorgeous little pack and it has this lovely shimmery mint green called Party at the Palace a lovely pastel blue with rainbow glitter called If the Slipper Fits, a lovely coral called Watch Your Stepsister, and then this pinky, um, peachy pastel called Ella of a Girl. So I'm really excited to try these, and again, this will be reviewed on my blog, which I'll pop my link down below. So I'm super excited to try these because some of them are glittery and mint green, one of my favourite colours is in there. 
Talking of mint green, I got another colour color from More Container and it's called Mint Chocolate Chip and this is the perfect mint colour and also perfect for spring as well. So last but not least, I purchased a few OPI colours, only two because to be honest, I'm not feeling any of their colours at the moment. Now they recently bought out a collection to coincide with Fifty Shades of Grey and to me the collection was just boring it was just all grey grey and grey and one red which was just a pillar box red and the only one that caught my eye was this one called shine for me and this is a grey based silver glitter and it's also got light blue and then a deeper dark blue and this is something that i haven't got in my collection so i thought it was quite unusual so i thought i'd pick this one up and then this one is actually from a summer the summer hawaii collection you know they bring out a big collection um sort of every season i think and to me this isn't a very hawaiian color but i loved the color i actually have it on my nails now and it's called Hello Hawaii and it's a, again another muddy colour and this is very similar to a Leighton Denny one I've got and I will have a blog post on this nail colour so I'll link that down below as well but this is a really gorgeous muddy purple colour and it's just stunning on the nails. This is fast becoming a classic colour along with nude and red and things. So guys, that concludes my large nail and beauty haul. I really hope you enjoyed this and it inspires you to go out and buy some lovely spring nail polish colours. I will be doing a video coming up soon on sort of my top 10 spring nail polish colours. Let me know if you want to see that down below or give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and follow me on Instagram, Pinterest and Twitter for more inspiration and also check out my previous two videos by clicking on the links on the right. Have a wonderful weekend and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!